All right, so today's the day for the Audi. A uh, bunch of parts came in yesterday, a bunch more coming in tomorrow, but I'm trying to get the coils installed today, so we're gonna do a little video on that. And uh, we'll see how it goes. some coils. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to put this video out. Probably after I do some pictures of it and show people. This is all for uh, next week. We're going to Euro X in Georgia. So we're driving from from Mesquite, or from Michigan down to Georgia. We're going to meet up in Detroit. So it's going to be pretty sweet. Should be fun. But first things first, we're going to the auto store. Because the car is going to be jacked up, I'm going to change the oil for the long drive. So, uh, We'll see how that goes. Got some oil. It's uh go ahead and drive back and start working on it. Might have to stop and get like a Red Bull or something though. garage I'm gonna put it up on jacks and then uh, then get started on the front end I guess I'm gonna measure everything up first see how tall it is stock and then and then we'll go from there I'm gonna do the oil as well I did stop and get a couple uh, rock stars and Red Bulls so stick those in the fridge all right so got the car the front end jacked up the uh, the jack points on this car are super weird. They're underneath the like plastic caps, so they're hard to find and they don't look very safe. But I ended up on one side just using the pinch weld. The subframe is nice, but there's not enough room on the subframe mount to jack it up and put a jack stand. So that's what got tricky. So I had to swap that out. <coughs> but everything's all jacked up now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the winter tires off, winter wheels off and we'll see what we can do, see how hard it is. I know I'm gonna have to take apart the, the, um, the windshield wiper mechanism cover that's in the, in the hood to get to the top bolts for the, the strut, but I think that's like the trickiest part. And then other than that, the, uh, the pinch bolt underneath for the bottom of the strut. But it's a pretty rust-free car, it should go pretty smooth. And the only time I've ever had actual problems with this is on rusty old cars where bolts just shear and snap everywhere. So should be pretty straightforward. Go ahead and get these wheels off now. So one thing you have to do to get to the top of the strut mount, you have to take this piece off. There's a piece of weather trim there and you just pull it off. It's pretty straightforward. And uh, you can get to it without taking the without taking the windshield wipers off themselves on this side but it's a little bit tighter on this side. So, but it's pretty straightforward. There's a little cap on this. Um, you can just take a, a flathead screwdriver and that cap pops right off, take that off. You just need it up enough to get these bolts off. If you're gonna be changing your dampening, then you wanna maybe even think about maybe cutting that cap off or this little piece right here. If you, I've seen people cut those off just so they can change their dampening more, but that's like, the one thing that's out of the way for this car. And this, I think it's the same for the GTIs and the Mark 5 and Mark 6 for this as well. But it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, this side, you don't even have to worry about it. 
you can lift it right up. I think it's like three 12 mil bolts. Drops it right out. But this side I am going to take the windshield wiper off just so I can get a little bit more mobility there. But it's pretty easy. So now what you gotta do is take out, there's a sway bar link here. And then there's the bottom mount right there. You gotta take those out. Top one's pretty straightforward. The bottom one needs a star bit to hold it in place while you loosen it up. So I didn't have a big enough torque bit, but what worked perfect is a 3 8 drive fit right in there and I could loosen that up for the bottom mechanism. Now you have to pry apart the bottom mount here in the very back which can be tricky. If it's really rusty, it'll be tough. If not, you can usually just wedge it apart. All right, so you have to drop this. There's a, you have to wedge this apart. They make a special tool for it, but what I did is I took a wedge and I drove it right in the crease right there. And you have to hold it down. The problem is there's a little, a little end right here and you gotta watch out for that so it'll get stuck. So I put the wedge right here hammered it down, and then hammered right here until it dropped. Um, I didn't take the axle off this one. Um, I might have to go back and do that. I'm gonna drop this stock strut out and see if I can get, get it out and get the aftermarket one in without having to take the axle out. I'm not gonna really reef on it because I know it'll mess up your CV joints um, if, you, if you extend them too far. So. I'm gonna do what I can. It's kind of sitting, I think I can probably take it out without reefing on it too hard. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. There's just three 13 mil right there. Just drop those. It'll fall right through, hopefully. Um, yeah, these are all seized up because they <clears throat> they definitely use like a, like a Loctite or some sort of thread lock in them. From the from the company and these have never came off before so they still have that thread locker on there So if I can get away without taking those off cool I know a lot of people recommend it. They say it slides in and out really nice with it and Another thing is if you're doing this and you have time to prep buy the the VW Audi Wedge tool it goes right in there. It looks like a little socket and then but it has an oval shape on the end and then you can you turn it and it opens it and it slides right out. It's way easier than having to uh to try and make use of an actual wedge. So that's what I would do. If I did it again. So the stocks fell out just fine. Just had to wiggle a little bit. I didn't reef on it anything. And um the aftermarket ones are in there. And I put a jack underneath the the arm under there and then we're gonna I'm slowly jacking it up by myself and lining up there's two dots on the back of these and then there's the hole for the the link back there you kind of have to spin this around um, these are just set at a pretty mid height for now and we're gonna get it all set up and then align it later all right so we got these weird yellow bars from fluorescent lights, but that's fine. So the fronts are all set up. They're sitting wherever it came in the box. It's on blocks at the moment. But so for the rear, pretty straightforward. If you can see. So you got a jack underneath this. Release pressure. Take this bolt out. There's a nut on the back side. And then release this bolt afterwards. It's pretty straightforward. And then a lot of people take the whole wheel well liner out. I just take a knife and I cut around this. And that there's two bolts in there you need to take out and then that'll help you replace your strut. Pretty straightforward, nothing crazy on the, the backs. Like the fronts were kind of a pain, but the backs are pretty easy. As soon as I find the hole, it'll go a lot better. Is that a problem you have? Not frequently, <laughs> but I don't work on Audis that often. <laughs> You gotta ease it in. It's got spark plugs, it's really weird. Yeah, I don't know what spark plugs are. Mm -hmm. All right, so then you need to reuse this piece. It almost
almost got you there. <laughs> you don't need to reuse this, but I'll keep it. I don't know what to say. <laughs>
So there's this tiny baby turbo inside this little red car. And we're trying to get the recirculating valve unplugged so we can put the spacer blow off thing in there. Should be pretty good. It's pretty good. We've got some old dogs behind us. They're pretty tuckered out. It's been a long day. I'm tuckered out. Ross is tuckered out. We're trying to get this done so we can go to the gym. Got some new pre-workout you can try. It's sick. But of course Ross would spring for the uh, the anodized red to match his red everything else. Got his hair, his car, his vape. Eat this! Oh, that's just you. Oh my gosh. Pete does the next one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sick. <laughs> Wait, you gotta be stab. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, now you're good. One more for the gram. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that was a success. We should have filmed it's not turning over. <laughs> So, Ross, <laughs> Ross tried telling me that the car wouldn't start because the wheel was off. And then we realized that his keys were on the other side of the yard. And it's um, push start. And his keys were like 30 feet away. So It's a lease. It's a lease. <clears throat> Don't tell Ford that it's a lease. It, it's a secret. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, so I got back from the gym. It was a long day. Day two of two long days in a row. I'm uh, I'm eating some cheese, lunch meat, crackers. Bears is watching intently. This is about it for the uh, installation prep videos. I'm still waiting on a couple parts to come in, but <clears throat> hopefully they come in tomorrow. And the the shipping from FedEx went from Thursday to Friday. No big deal. Hopefully we can have time to do it tomorrow, so. It'll get done before we leave. We leave on Tuesday for, for Georgia. So, hoping to get some cool pictures up before I release this. But, who knows if that'll happen or not. But, all right, thanks for watching. Thanks, Bears. Bears.